Hello everyone, welcome to the Paul Z RC channel coming to you from my garage in Texas. This is the place where you learn with me how to improve on our RC models and have fun doing that. Today's project is the HSD F16. It's 105 millimeter based um, EDF, flies great. Uh, however, after owning it for almost two years, I'd like to give it a little bit more power. I'd like to give a little bit better performance at half throttle. So what I'm going to do is install a 110 millimeter jet fan with a hacker motor. This motor is a 780 kV motor and I will be using the stock ESC. We'll see. I'll show you how to modify the timing on that and We'll see how it performs with this. I'll have a flight video after this as well. Um, but uh, let's see how it goes. I hope it works well and let's explore together. Thanks. Okay, so I got the plane disassembled here and I'm doing some preliminary uh, fitting to see how this will fit and what will have to uh, happen. Um, by the way, I installed these um, glued these on kind of to the front here they don't have to be like that but that's because i was planning to put this uh fan in a different airplane anyway it looks like a perfect fit if you look at how beautifully it lines up with um the cutouts there's there's um right there no edge between the shroud and the foam um as you see the fan fits perfectly into this um, opening for the where it used to be a 105. So I'm very, very encouraged by this. I also uh, soldered the programming wire into this stock ESC so that I can change the timing. This motor will uh, is, is a low timing, five to 10 degrees. Probably uh, I'll run it at five. It may run a little cooler. The Hacker 39 millimeter motors tend to overheat. Uh, I've had a bad experience on a different jet with this setup, so I will run it at five degrees, may run a little cooler. And um, this, by the way, factory is set to 30 degrees, so do not use that with this hacker motor. You have to either put in a new ESC or solder in the wire for programming, which I'll show you to program this using the hobby wing programming card and set it at five degrees. So here is the hobby wing ESC that came stock with the HSD F16. It's flipped upside down with the bottom cover removed. And it was basically missing the programming wire. This is a fully programmable ESC. And as you can see, I added a servo cable that has the three wires, white, red, and black. White is soldered to the P pad, red to the positive, and the black to any negative pad. And that allows you to program it. That's what P stands for on uh, the back here. So here you see me programming this with the Hobbywing programming card. And item number eight will be set to the value of two for the five degree um, program. All right, everyone. So here we have the power system mounted. The um, jet fan, 110 millimeter. EDF with a hacker motor as you see uh, now it's screwed in correctly and it fits beautifully without any foam carving it just fit right in to the opening here okay um, I've had to uh, solder the wires I don't understand why hacker uses the skinny tiny three wires coming out of here I'm not sure if they understand Ohm's law but anyway I soldered on the um, 10 gauge connectors and then onto the ESC. This is the stock ESC and the timing has been changed to 5 degrees. So low timing. It's an in-runner. The uh, manual for the hacker motor says 5 to 10 degrees. I had an option of 5 or 8. I picked 5. Um, I think that might help run the motor a tad cooler so uh setup is good now i will have to do some foam carving uh to uh, match the mount um, again the mount can be uh, on these jet fans um 
uh, glued on um, you know further further down the middle you could actually match it to the previous location I've had it here because it was uh, planned for different airplanes so I'll just cut that foam out I also have to cut a little bit of the groove to let the wires go right in there but that's really all in terms of foam modifications very very small all right so one other thing i really recommend you do is if you use hacker motors the 39 millimeter uh, size hacker motors you put a heat sink on them they are badly designed uh, they overheat I already burned one up and in a different model and they don't sell them with a heat sink so i recommend putting a uh, axial uh, 39 millimeter heat sink on it with uh, heat sink paste um, and let's hope this helps I, I was doing the thrust tests earlier and even those few seconds of thrust as the motor was so hot I could barely touch it okay so uh, I didn't film the thrust test but uh, just for everybody's awareness I used the fish scale hooked it up to the tail of the aeroplane uh, the airplane, as configured, weighs 15 and a half pounds, batteries, the new motor, and everything. And I'm getting static thrust of 14.8. So I am very excited about it. However, I am worried because the hacker motor is heating up quite a bit. Um, even though I have the timing at the lowest, 5 degrees, uh, this is a watch item for me. I've already burned one up in a different airplane. I'm not sure if those hacker motors are um, appropriate for, for the application that they're being sold for in the 39 millimeter diameter. Um, that's a very narrow motor, lots of energy density. Uh, and, and so I'm not sure that's a very good design, but we'll see uh, how she behaves. Uh, ESC is running cool. So everything is great. Again, stock ESC, timing change to five degrees. Very important because it's factory set to 30 degrees for the Outrunner that was here. Paul Z, RC here. I wanted to conclude features the F-16 video. I am super excited. The upgrade worked. This bird flew like a dream on the upgraded fan. And uh, I don't have the flight video because a friend of mine that has the better camera wasn't there, but I will uh, post that separately. I just wanted to conclude the upgrade video itself. Um, it worked fantastic. Much more power, much better verticals, higher speed, uh, plane flies beautifully, half throttle, turns. Uh, it, it doesn't tuck into the turns like it did with the previous power system uh, and I'm pretty sure we're getting close to 1 to 1, 1.1 1 .1, uh, thrust to weight ratio and uh, guess what, that's like the full scale F-16 so that's why, that's why they're overpowered. Great upgrade, highly recommended. Uh, let's go over uh, as a summary. Okay, so let's summarize what was done to the airplane. Here, I am pulling off the end. And um, I've had about five flights at this point. And like I said earlier, I will show a flight video. But in summary, we have a jet fan, 110 millimeter uh, EDF, the 11 bladed one, powered by a 780 kV hacker motor. Uh, I've added the heat sink here. The motor continues to heat up quite a bit. So I don't recommend the hacker motor for this mod. I recommend a HET HET motors, but it does work. It gives you a lot of power. Um, so in summary, this mod worked really well. Um, again, uh, a warning about the ESC. You need to, if you want to keep the stock ESC, you need to change the timing. The timing originally is set to 30 degrees. I lowered it to low to five, which it works well with the, with the hacker motor. Uh, that's it. I really recommend the mod. As you see, it fits really beautifully. Uh, I had to carve just a little bit of the foam on the lid, uh, but just barely. And uh, it closes and fits gorgeous. And it, fl it flew perfectly. So anyway, that's it. I, I will post uh, um, a flight video soon.